The Xperia 1 Mark V is here and it has gotten not only a brand new camera sensor, but also improved autofocus thanks to AI, a Cinetone for mobile and a lot more. So as usual, grab some snacks or something to drink and follow me on this little journey. So one of my absolute favorite things to do in this world is to get outside in nature and capture it with some tasty new technology. And that is exactly what we're doing today. Ooh, I see the ocean. Honestly, I haven't been to a beach in ages. So this feels very nice. The sun is slowly starting to peek through and touch these ones. Okay, I really need to get up there. The light is so good right now. <laughs> I'm gonna try to use the 85 to get a telephoto shot here. I really like how the, the sun is touching the, the sand dunes here. Really, really nice. And as you can see, we finally have a vertical UI inside of Photography Pro which is very welcome. Okay, I really need to get down here. Look how beautiful. So I got an idea. I'm gonna take a self portrait <laughs> up here and this little path that is going will create a little nice leading line in the shot. But there's only one problem. I need a tripod for this and my bag is over there. So, uh, Whew. let's set it up. Okay, so I'm gonna try to place myself somewhere here, I think, to create a pretty nice balance. But <laughs> I wonder if I will get there in time because I don't have a remote with me at the moment. We're gonna go with auto mode. We're gonna have a 10 second timer. Will it get up there in time? We will see. One, two. One. Did I make it? <laughs> no, I didn't make it. This is steeper <laughs> than, than it looks like. One. Ah. <laughs> I forgot the 10 second timer. Yep, we got it. Yay! <laughs> if I just bring the remote, this would be a lot easier. You see this white line of like water? <laughs> what do you call it? The, uh, the skum. Uh, I'm gonna try to capture that because we have really beautiful light on basically everything. So I think a Shot just straight down. I think these three look very nice. The Xperia 1 Mark V now has continuous shooting in up to 30 photos per second, which is as insanely fast as the Sony Alpha 1. 
I'm all ready to put up to one. Ah. Yep. <laughs> okay, this is a lot of photos. Like, look at this. It's basically film. So I'm gonna try a thing. Have the phone on a gimbal mounted to this tripod and then I'm simply gonna run on the beach here and fill my feet in 4k 120 fps and then slow it down to a very nice slow motion shot some sand flying and let's look like a fool on the beach so on the Xperia 1 Mark V we have the 16 millimeter ultra wide lens as well as the 24 millimeter wide and the still very impressive 85 to 125 millimeter optical zoom. So what is great about the optical zoom is that when you zoom between 85 and 125, you still use the full sensor of the camera. But what I'm most excited about, about the Xperia 1 Mark V, is the brand new image sensor that we see behind the 24 millimeter lens. So on this brand new sensor, we can capture way better photos and video in low light situations. We also have better dynamic range, which means if you're standing in a dark scene, but have a very bright sky, for example, thanks to computational processing, it will capture a more balanced photo with almost no noise and we still have details left in both the highlights and the shadows. And I'm personally very glad to see that they're upping their game in the low light category. And I think being able to shoot in low light, you can capture amazing atmospheres that aren't really possible during the day. And it's very nice to see that that it's possible with a phone. Okay, my friends, what shall we do next? It's very bright. So let's head into the forest. This little house here looks very cool. The sun is peeking through and hitting this very beautifully. I'm gonna use this as a foreground. I'm gonna go with manual controls. What a little beautiful spot. <laughs> so I personally enjoy shooting video with Xperia phones very much. I think the user interface of Videography Pro is the best out of all the phones I've tried. And I think it's because the similarities to the Sony Alpha system that I use right here. <laughs> and as on the Xperia 1 Mark IV, we have 4K 120fps on all the lenses. So I can shoot an ultra wide slow motion shot in 4K and then cut to a zoomed in 4K slow motion shot and I don't have to worry about certain limitations on the different lenses, which is a big plus. So they've now added S Cinetone for mobile, which is basically a mobile version of the very popular S Cinetone format that we see on the Sony Alpha system, which will give you cinematic looking colors directly out of the phone and you don't have to learn how to color grade and put it in an editing software and so on. Basically, all you have to worry about is to shoot and if it looks good in this, on the screen on the phone, that is what it will look like when you have the final product. Well, you know what? It's time for us to move forward because we're going on a little daily trip with the car. It's quite far, but I definitely think it will be worth it. I'm in the car on my way to, to some coasty, beautiful views, but I just had to stop because look at this. Wow. So as you probably can see, the sun is still very high up in the sky and harsh. So this is a great example when to use the auto mode and get the benefits with the computational processing that it does. Let's take a photo. And here we see we have lots of details in the shadows, but we still have the details in the highlights right here. And it's super sharp. Let's get moving. <laughs> You will not believe this. <laughs> Look at this beautiful kind of framing. I don't know how to <laughs> explain it better, but I was driving here and I saw two deer standing right here. <laughs> and I first thought it was statues because they were just standing there, silhouette, ah, incredibly beautiful. So I had to panically back up the car, grab the Xperia. Thankfully, you can just press here and Photography Pro will open. 
that saved me, <laughs> and I got this shot. We can see the ocean. Now I finally have the remote again, and it's paired and ready <laughs> to be used. What is this place? I see so many potential photos. This is definitely a photo. Isn't it pretty crazy when you're out in places like this? It's very hard to just take it in. It's kind of when you come home and lay in bed and wake up the next morning, then you start to feel like what did I see yesterday? Places like this cannot be captured well enough on camera. <laughs> like mountains tend to feel so small on camera. And they are actually pretty big for being south of Sweden at least. Yeah. There we go. The big reveal. <laughs> Pretty nice view. Okay, it's time for another selfie. And I can guarantee that this one will beat the other one. I am always very stressed <laughs> during sunset. Most people probably feel like they <laughs> can relax and just take it all in and enjoy, but uh, Nope. We are stressing. Use manual controls. Yeah, we need to use the ultra wide for this. I'm gonna try maybe this. Wrong place. That is definitely my favorite shot of the day. Nice. If you follow this channel, you know that I enjoy taking photos manually with manual controls and editing the photos and doing everything by myself. But I know many of you that don't really want that. You just want to take a photo and focus on the actual shooting and have a photo that is looking the way you want directly out of the phone. And they have added a couple of creative looks onto the Xperia that works for both video and for photos. So you have a bunch of different presets that you can choose from to really personalize the photo. So if you like very saturated colors and a very poppy image, you can use the vivid one. Then you have a bunch of different other ones that can give you a dreamy look or a faded look and so on. So if you don't want to learn a editing software and so on, you can use the creative looks. But if you want to use an editing software and nerd down like I do, you can obviously do that as well. So in a low light situation like this, if you're taking the 24 millimeter and shooting in auto, you can basically hand hold and shoot and you get really nice details. I cannot see any noise at all, really. Okay, that is very impressive. <laughs> I can see the lighthouse. <laughs> Look how it's casting a light. We just need to find the best angle. I have a feeling it might be up here, but who knows? <sighs> oh my gosh, what a view. Finally, back at the car. 
Ah, oh, but only thing is, I wanted to shoot the sunset at the beach, but I'm very happy what I got to capture at Kulabari where I was, but I really wanted the beach as well. If there only was some kind of way to turn back time, well, I guess if we can give it a try. Settings, date and time, here we go. I think about four hours would do. Let's go with five. Boom. Can you hear that? <laughs> Boy, we are. Oh, this is bright. And another very cool thing is the external monitor feature. Using it this way, you can have the Xperia as an external monitor for your Sony Alpha camera. So when Sony makes their flagship phones, they have photographers and filmmakers in mind. We have seen this feature on a previous Xperia phones, but it has been updated with a bunch of new features and works better than ever. So using the Xperia as an external monitor is way easier to see if things are in focus, thanks to the new added feature focus peaking, as well as you have zebras to have control over the exposure. And we still have the uh, waveform monitoring and false color mapping as we did in the latest update. And the new added feature to the external monitor app is the ability to record onto the phone's storage. So the phone will record as well as your camera will record to the SD card. This is great for a backup shot in case something would happen to the SD card or anything else. But as you might know, I'm not really a commercial videographer, so I'm, I'm filming wildlife and stuff. So I've used this in when I'm sitting in a hide and can lay back and have a large screen and see if something appears in front of the hide without having to like watch this little small <laughs> screen. And when we're doing that, having features such as the focus peaking, for example, is very, very handy. How cool doesn't this look? This is the future. <laughs> that, my friends, is everything for this video. And I've been having a blast here on the West Coast. And it's always fun to try out new things, especially new Xperia phones. So thanks for coming along with me on this little journey. And I will leave a link down in the description where you can check out the full resolution photos. So until next time, have a good one.